name is Kate Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today we're going to create a card that uses the Flourishing Phrases Bundle. So this is the 2K set and it does have a couple of images but mostly this stamp set features sentiments and the sentiments are fantastic. You'll be able to use them so, for such a wide variety of things. This, you'll really get your money's worth out of this stamp set. And then it also can be bundled with the Flourish Thinlets. Now when you bundle a stamp set and a framelit or thinlet set, you will be able to save 10%. And so that's always kind of a good reason to, to do a bundle when you can. So let me put this aside and let me show you the cards we're going to create. We are going to use one of the thinlets that actually wasn't on that magnetic piece because I already have that set up in my Big Shot machine. But these are the cards they're going to make and they feature the 2016-18 in colors. So the one we're missing is Emerald Envy. So I'll show you um, with the card we're making right now what that's going to look like. But I do love these in colors with black. I think they just look so awesome with that pop of black. And so the inside panel also features one of the Thinlet dies from this set. And then of course it does feature one of the stamps that is an image stamp from this set. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using our note cards and envelopes. You get 20 note cards and 20 envelopes when you purchase one of these. It comes in crumb cake or whisper white. What I love about it is the price point. For only six dollars you get 20 envelopes and 20 scored note cards which means when it's scored in advance, all you have to do is fold it. So I have one here to show you, and you just fold it, and you just take your bone folder, give that a nice press, and you are ready to go and start stamping and working with this. So we are gonna do just that. The only other piece of paper that I used, and outside of the in-color paper that we're going to be using on the Big Shot machine, is a piece of basic black. I've cut this at three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. And then once you have it cut to this size, you're just gonna wanna cut it diagonally. So I did that just to show you what that looks like. And that way you'll get two triangles, which you can use um, to create two cards with for this particular design. So let's go ahead and we're just going to take our multi-purpose liquid glue. And we're going to glue that, that triangle right here onto our card front. So I'm just setting that in, and I'm going to leave a pretty skinny edge all the way around. Um, because it's a smaller card, I think a smaller little skinny edge is in order. So this is what that looks like. Then we're going to go ahead and using a scrap of Emerald Envy, we're going to go ahead and run this through the Big Shot machine. Now your scrap needs to be at least three and a half inches wide and then probably about five and a quarter or five and a half inches long for sure. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like once you run it through the Big Shot machine. So here's what I've already run through the Big Shot machine and let me just show you the sandwich that I used. First of all, I used the new Big Shot platform from Stampin' Up! that you can purchase. It already has a built-in shim and then the thin die adapter and then because we're using a thinlet die, these are thinlet dies, you can tell because they have all the little dots inside of them. Um, I use my precision plate and then of course I have a I have a cut plate that's actually dedicated to this precision plate because it will warp. There's no give on this plate, which allows you to cut beautiful images, but there's no give. So the give ends up coming into the cutting plate, which causes it to warp. But that's okay. I'm fine with that because I get such beautiful cuts with this, um, with this particular setup. So now what we have to do is we have to um, get the dye brush into the picture because there's a lot of little pieces in here and we wanna take those all out. So I just put my dye brush foam pad into a wood mount stamp case and then here is the brush that comes with it. I'm just gonna set this up here. I'm gonna take my brush and we're just going to run that all along and you can see that the little pieces are popping out very beautifully. So in fact, I think every little piece is out of this particular piece. So now I will work on this panel and I work it a little bit harder on this because there are so many little pieces in here. 
the leaves especially. So I'm just working the brush all over the top and letting the bristles go down into where all those little dots are. So now we can lift this away and you will see it did a very good job just the foam brush by itself it did a very good job of taking out all those little pieces and they're so loose when you use the precision plate with that new big shot platform um, everything comes out really really easy so anyway let me set this aside and now we'll go ahead and we'll put some glue on here and get this put onto our card so what I'm doing is I'm just flipping this over and I'm going to add the glue right to these wider spots. So wherever there's a bigger area where I can dot my glue on, I am doing it. I'm also adding a dot of glue onto the end of each leaf and of course into these round little balls. And there's a leaf end. And it doesn't take very long. So now I've got this all dotted. You can see how it's all dotted on here. And I'm just going to set this right here. Look how that green pops on the black. Just love that. Now if you do get a little glue that squishes out, as you can see, I did. But it's no big deal because after that dries, I can take my adhesive remover and that will come right out. So now let's go ahead and do our stamping. So I have some archival basic black. And I'm going to grab my just a note. We're going to ink that up. And then we're just going to go straight down and straight up. Because if you rock it, you're going to end up with a halo. And we do not want a halo. Then we're going to flip it around. And I'm going to take that skinny little um, decorative piece. And to put the glue on that, let me just show you real quick. I'm just going to put glue right through the center line all the way down. If you get it on the center line all the way down, it's going to stick just fine on your card. You don't need to put it anywhere else but there. We're just going to set this up here. There's just a little bit smaller of a space to write, so we're going to keep this up above where we would do any writing, but it adds a nice decorative touch to the inside of the card. Then we're going to stamp with warmth and caring from me with our basic black archival ink. And then we're going to add a little stamping to the inside of this card as well. So I've got some scrap paper here because we're going to use a second generation image. And then we also have um, our envelope, which we are also going to stamp on. So maybe I'll do the envelope first. I'm going to use the Emerald Envy ink, one of our new in colors. And then I'm going to take this nice large floral motif that comes with this stamp set. We're just going to stamp this right here. So just like that, we have the front of our envelope decorated. And now I'm going to ink up that stamp set again. I'm going to stamp off once because we want to use a second generation stamp on the inside. It will be a little bit lighter so that if you write over the top of it, you will still be able to see your handwriting. So there is the card we've just completed. Look how quick that was. There's our matching envelope and it's just beautiful. So let me go ahead and we'll put all the cards into the picture with their matching envelope. So we've got the dapper denim and we've got the sweet sugar plum and then we've got our flirty flamingo and the last but not least our peekaboo peach. So hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate it. I have a supply list down here at the bottom in both my blog post and in my video post on YouTube. Have a great day. If you love my videos, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.